Jen Wazla Krem says Strawberry Shortcake's new red velvet brownie is to die for! She likes me! She really likes me! I'd like to thank Custard, my very besties, and of course, my lucky spoon, which has always been there through thick and thin batter. <laughs> Another glowing review. If you're not careful, those berry besties of yours may start to get jealous. That would never happen. That's what I thought, too. Back when I had my squad of baking buds, now it's me by myself, all alone. Hey, Uncle P, I need... Not you. now! <clears throat> Is that the lucky spoon I've heard so much about? I'd keep an eye on that. You never know who will betray you. So, I'm like a thousand percent sure the pie man's gonna try to steal my spoon. Ugh, could he be any more obvious? Okay, pie man, give me back my... Huh? Hey, neighbor. Just taking in the news of the day. Hmm. Aha! Blueberry? What are you doing with my spoon? Oh, I didn't see it there. Maybe it was lonely and came to see my ice cream scoop. <gasps> Maybe they're in love. Aw, oh, look, they're spooning. Okay. <laughs> Bye, Blueberry. Bye. Hi, man! Yeah. Oh, oh, hold on a sec. What's up? Huh. I'm sure I know the answer to this, but did either of you take my spoon? Why would we take your spoon when we have the Mega Stirrer? It's still just a prototype. Man, but he's up there. The spoon's down here. My friends are down here, but they don't want the spoon. He wants the spoon. He warned me they would want the spoon, but the pie man wants the spoon. And also, who cuts their toenails in the middle of the courtyard? Nope. <laughs> no problems here. Just hanging out, staring at my spoon. <laughs> Aww. <gasps> I have no idea what you mean. I've never seen this crow in my life. <laughs> Ugh. You pets deserve a special treat. Follow me. You had one simple job, bird brain, but no. The only thing that's purple and reliable around here is me. He blames everybody else for everything. Having pets is the very best. Cracker? <laughs> Aww. Ooh, Blueberry, how's this fall looking? Shh. Coachella is Big Apple City's biggest music festival. So, Blueberry offered to be my food truck placement guru to help me find the perfect spot to set up the extraordinary berry. Here your journey begins. This is the light in the darkness. The what? <laughs> oh, smell that? Smellspiration has hit, and I must follow my nose. Have fun. The light in the darkness. <gasps> the light in the darkness. If that's not a sign, I don't know what is. This is the perfect spot. <laughs> Turbo boost. <laughs> Lime tart and lemon tart, right? I'm Strawberry Shortcake. We know a lot of the same berries. So 
know why you probably didn't see me there. All good. It's all good. But I was actually parked here first, so... The Poachella permit that I'm sure you also have says anyone can park anywhere at any time. Anytime is now. Anywhere is here. <laughs> Maybe there's another anywhere that's not totally blocking berries from seeing my truck? This longitude and latitude gives us the exact location for optimal performance. And this spot is big enough that I can hit the turbo turbo boost! I said one turbo boost only. Seriously, <laughs> give me that thing. <laughs> Minor setback, but there's got to be somewhere else with even more light, right? Here my journey begins. It's the light and darkness! Uh, what's that for? You're parked on a sinkhole! <laughs> it doesn't look like me. <laughs> okay, light. Show me what you... Uh, what? What? Okay, no. Ooh, stinky. No falling trees, no creepy birds. This has to be it! Oh, come on! We needed a bigger spot for the turbo turbo boost. The Poachella permit states. I know what it states! Oh, the festival's about to open. Now I'll never get any customers. Light in the darkness. I was all over the light! And I still ended up in darkness and totally blocked from the... Whoa, I'm in serious need of a snack and shade. Whoa, you open? <gasps> Find the light is finding the silver lining in any situation. Hey, every berry! Need a break from the heat? Come get a Pochella pastry and enjoy some cool shade. Clever berry. What? Were you up there this whole time? Yep. I've been boiling cabbage. Mm. <gasps> That's what that smell was? <laughs> I know, right? Total yum. It's my newest ice cream creation. Boiled cabbage and marshmallow cone. Mm. <laughs> oh, can you eat that somewhere else? The Poachella permit states you can eat anything, anywhere. Anything is a boiled cabbage marshmallow cone and, well, you know the rest. Ooh, it's an acquired taste. I think today is going to be absolutely fantastic! Whoa! Here you go! I didn't order strawberry scones, I ordered strawberry tarts! <laughs> Look, it's clumsy berry batter cake! <laughs> Sorry, Custer! Well, then who has my scones? for repair. Mm. Oh, I guess we're walking home. What? Oh, come on! Hey, hey, it's my favorite niece and roomie. How's your day? Uh, fine. Great. What a day. Hmm. Huh. Anything exciting happen at work? No. Strawberry, did you have a bad day? What? Me? A bad day? <laughs> come on. I'm a mixing bowl is half full kind of berry. I, I always look on the bright side. And today was, it, it was. It's okay to have a bad day. It was awful. But I'm strawberry shortcake. I'm sweet. I'm optimistic. I can't have a bad day. It's just not who I am. Look, every berry has bad days. There's nothing wrong with that. Sounds like you've got the bad day blues. Bad day blues? Some days are not the best, nothing goes your way. They put you to the test, you lose no matter what you say. So just accept it, I tell you this, it's true. It's okay to be not okay, okay to have a bad day blue. And Raylene, I don't think this, this is nothing you can do, but push on through. It's gonna get better, I promise you. Okay. So make yourself your favorite meal. Grab a blank.
you. Okay, how are you feeling? Well, still not great. But I guess it's okay to feel not great once in a while. Exactly. The bad days just remind you how good the great days are. As long as we're embracing the bad day, there's still a couple pints of ice cream in the freezer. Oh, way ahead of you. Not my first bad day, I'll tell you that. Phew. You know, the bad day blues taste pretty good. Okay. No, no, no! <laughs> It's horrible! It's over! It's... A broken guitar string. I can fix that in... You don't get it. Poachella auditions are today! Poachella? Big Apple City's biggest music festival. They're looking for up-and-coming talent. Winner gets to open for Sherry Bobbleberry and the Berry Fairies. But every year before my audition, something happens to mess up my groove. Lost little... Huh? Anywhere important to be. Hmm. <sighs> if you look outside, you'll see we have definitely crashed. Okay. No, yeah, that is very bad. But we can fix the guitar string. And send positive vibes your way. And build a mecha guitar that sounds sweet, plus transforms into a robot that can sing pop, lock, and jam. Too much? Thanks, berries. The guitar isn't the problem. I think it's me. Poor Huck. I know he can do this. We just need to find a way to help him get his groove back. Okay, Berries, Operation Fix Huck. Let's think of something. Huck, wait! Oh, oh, keep doing that! You don't need a guitar! You just need some backup! Come on, I know you can do this. Feel it deep inside of you. I'll sing right beside you. Together I know. going to slay at Poachella. What's your band's name again? We are the Extraordinary Berries, and we can't wait to play at Poachella together. Because seriously, I cannot do this without you. Ooh, very nice. <laughs> we, we love, love chocolate, chocolate croissants. Fred and Lime started a weekly fashion brunch to bond over their mutual love of all things fashion. They're so in sync, they even say the same things. It's adorable. So, so trendy. trendy. So chic. Love. love. And a little creepy. 
Last look! Vanity Pear has your dad's waistcoat on the cover! <laughs> <gasps> She's wearing dad's waistcoat too! But it's shorter, sleeveless! She changed it? We must meet this vision of style! Hi, I'm Slime, this is Bread. Crepe, crepe Suzette, enchantée. Is that a fluffy chiffon waistcoat? Oui, I love the pattern, but the cut uh, did not work for me, so I made some adjustments. I am an aspiring fashion designer. <gasps> Brett and I love fashion, too. We actually have a fashion brunch. You, you could join us if you wanted. Fashion and brunch? Oh, very much, oui. Great, but not now. It's later, uh, late brunch, in like an hour? So, lunch. <laughs> yep. Gives me time to take photos for inspiration. See you in an hour. Our brunch is right now. Why? You saw her? We're not trendy enough. We need a better setup, cooler outfits, fancier food. No chocolate croissants. We need avant garde. I don't know what that means. Look it up. Come on, Lime. We don't have much time. Avant garde. Oh. We need looks that say cutting edge. Hello, gorgeous. Brunch in the courtyard is more open. But this is exclusive. A VIP vibe. Hmm. Do you think Lemon would be our bouncer? She can be pretty scary. Did somebody say avant-garde? Ah! Ah! Horrifying. It's perfect. Hmm. Uh, you don't look very excited. I liked our fashion brunch the way it was. But Brad really wants to impress Crepe. You know what I think you should do to impress Crepe? What? Nothing. You're pretty impressive just the way you are. Fred, about this brunch. Hello. Crepe! Welcome to our fashion brunch. It's au courant. It's on mode. It's... Uh, not what I was expecting. I, uh, do you not like it? What matters is, do you like it? Brett and I are always trying new ideas, but I think we both agree this isn't really our vibe. Oh, good. You have no idea how often berries try to impress me by pretending to be avant-garde. Oh, you don't say. What kind of berry would do that? <laughs> Shall we go outside for brunch? <laughs> I was afraid you wanted to eat in here. <laughs> I brought chocolate croissants. We love chocolate croissants. Ooh, very nice. Aw, still adorable. Sacrebleu, that look is tragic. And still a little creepy. Uh, work at City Hall was brutal. I am as beat as the mayor in today's polls. Huh. The berry works was slammed. I'm as fried as the fritters I sold out of. Good, Good night. night. <sighs> A cricket? Okay, just ignore it. <gasps> Is that a cricket? Yep. Huh. How did it get past my ultrasonic bug repellent force field? You know, I paid a lot of money to install that thing. Nothing should survive in here. <laughs> Except us. Wow, I did not know Aunt Praline disliked bugs so much. I mean, it's why I left Berryville. Where is it? Where could the little guy be? Shh. Living room? Akata Domesticus, the house cricket. <laughs> Just the, the TV. Producers. Sorry, David Attenberry. <gasps> Where is the beast? Beast? A uh, little cricket? <gasps> Where is it? Where are you? Feels like Aunt Praline is getting.
getting a little carried away. <gasps> the air ducts! Come on! Not a little, a lot, a whole lot carried away! And really, um, Sir Chirps a lot is annoying. <laughs> totally, but I just... Oh, it's taunting us. We're gonna beat it. Don't you worry about a thing, Strawberry. Don't you worry. Yeah, I'm not worried about the cricket. <laughs> it lured us in and did that on purpose! On purpose? It's the cricket! <gasps> We're trapped. It's, it's the cricket or us. We only have one option left. Atomic pesto obliterator. To minimum safe distance. Obliterates on contact! Do not inhale, maybe lethal. Oh, fresh tropical breeze scent. I just want the cricket out of here. This is a little extreme. It's left us no choice. Ah! Now we wait. <laughs> and humans are chirps a lot be obliterated. I have to save him. No! Oh, you guys are so cute. Obliteration in 30 seconds. Not today, Obliterator! Five, four, three, two, one. Phew! Oh, that was too close. Oh, there you are. You owe me, Sir Chirps a lot. Now you go on, young one. Be free. And chirp somewhere far, far away! Bye! <gasps> Where is it? The big bad bug is gone. It's gone now. No bug's gonna hurt you now, Auntie Praline. Okay, maybe things got a little crazy there for a minute, but hey, we made it through, and we can finally get some rest. Sleep tight, Strawberry. Good night, Aunt Praline. Splenda's Big Apple City have a rooster! Aww. We are having a slumber party. It's going to be the best slumber party I've ever been to. Actually, it's the only slumber party I've been to. So I made the sweet and salty snack mix, and I am so ready to... I do... What do you do at a slumber party? Book club. Things could get intense. Ah! Scary movie marathon! Oh, the theme of tonight is relaxation. Junk food! I am all about tea parties. Trez chic! That's French, like the fries. It's gonna be perfect. But Elizabeth Lime wanted nothing to do with Mr. Parsley. Lime! Trying to watch a movie here. Oh. In through the nose, out through the mouth. This is not what I was expecting. Kind of feeling like we're not all on the same slumber party page here. Speaking of pages, if we could all turn to page 394. Speaking of party, how about a proper tea party? <laughs> Scary movie marathon. Relaxing spaghetti! getaway! <laughs> Sorry. Okay! I have an idea. What if we take turns? Each berry gets a set time for their activity, and when this timer goes off, we switch! That way, every berry gets their dream slumber party. <laughs> this chai needs to steep for just a bit longer, then we can... Never mind. Ah, fiddle faddle. <sighs> Just as you're finally relaxed, you need to. Ah! I said relaxed! Elizabeth Benye's hand brushed Mr. Parsley's, and she finally knew that. <gasps> what? What did she know? Ta da! <laughs> <Ugh>. <laughs> Dream.
my first slumber party would go. Damn it! My remote! Little! Everything about this slumber party is a disaster! Not everything. This snack mix shortcakes made is great. Oh, thanks, Orange. It's a mix, actually, of sweet and salty flavors. They're really different, but when you combine them, it's... <gasps> Holy donuts! That's it! I know how to save the slumber party! Mr. Parsley, how dare you! Wow, the movie version is even better than the book? It's so good. I don't even mind that it's not scary. Here you go. Way to go, shortcakes! Combining our different things into one big thing made the perfect slumber party. Like any great recipe, it's how the ingredients blend together that makes the magic happen. And this is the slumber party of my dreams. We just opened for Sherry Bobbleberry and the Berry Fairies at Bochella. When we meet the Berry Fairies before they go on, follow my lead, okay? Play it cool. We are performers now. We're garbage! You're all garbage! Sherry, we just think it would have been nice to have you at rehearsal. I don't need rehearsal, Peppermint. I'm too busy making you sound good. That's it! You don't rehearse. You're mean, and we do all the work. If that's how you feel, let's see how the Berry Fairies do without Sherry Bobbleberry. I quit! Oh, it's you. You opened for us, right? Yeah, that's us. You were off key. Ouch. We don't need her. Cherry Jam can sing. She writes the songs anyways. Oh, no, 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 no. What if I mess up? What if they don't like me? When you're scared, remember one thing is true. You make the world a better place by just being you. So much for playing it cool. Who are you again? Strawberry Shortcake. She's always like this, but she's usually right. I know you're nervous, but Raisin Cane and Peppermint Fizz believe in you. When I'm nervous, I think of my friends. With them by my side, I can do anything. She's right, Cherry. We're with you. It's hard to find your way. Or to know just what to say when you don't feel like a star. Scared to show the world who you are. You want to sing out loud. Stand up proud and face the crowd. But you worry they won't care. Will they even know you're there? Find your voice. Find your voice.
who found her voice. We don't need more juicers, Lemon. But these are stronger, Lime. Look. Uh, I can fix that. Ugh. Lemon and Lime are so different. Why did they ever decide to share a cart? They didn't always share a cart. Ooh, flashback time. Let's go way, way, way back. Ooh, 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 ooh. Right before Strawberry got to the Berry Works. Wait, wait. This is right before I got here? Lemon and Lime had separate carts and partners. Lime worked at the all-time Lime truck with Lime Tart. What do you think you are doing? Setting out limes? Uh, limes should be placed largest at the bottom, smallest at the top, less ripe to the right, more ripe to the left. This is chaos! We have to close until it's fixed! Ugh. Aww. And Lemon worked at the Lemonade Parade with Lemon Tort. Great butterscotch! I did it! The Hovercraft 800! Not bad. But how does the floating help sell more lemonade? Who cares? When you make a hovercraft, you just do it with style. This thing is radical. Radical? Are you sure this is right before I got here? Yeah. Shh. This is the good part. One righteous lemonade, please. This is the all-time lime cart. One lemonade with a hint of lime. You might like our limeade, which we is... We cater to lime aficionados only. You can get your limeless libation elsewhere. Good day, sir. But lime... I said good day. Whoa, killer cart. One lemonade. How about a lemon upgrade? Whoa! What were you wearing? Barry, I looked good. Good. Now, shh. Smooth move. That dude is so over your cart. Maybe tone it down? As if my genius is totally unappreciated here. I quit. <sighs> I can't work with no rules. This is chaos. I quit. Whoa. Heavy. Those berries need a better business plan. Oh, the universe just gave me a radical idea. I don't know. I don't like tons of rules. Actually, I'd be okay with a few less rules, but I want to sell drinks, not spray down customers. Same! I want to improve the truck, but it won't matter if no berry is there to buy anything. They joined forces and became the perfect team you know today. Why is everything an explosion? Wait for it. I didn't mean for it to explode. I just want to make the cart better. I know. And logically, a stronger juicer would be more efficient. Can you make it less explodey? Yes! You're the best, Lime. So are you, Lemon. I couldn't run our cart without you. Aww. What are you all doing? If you're lost, Lemon, look and you will find her. Time after time. Lemon to your lime. Ugh. Why are you so weird? Oh. <laughs> uh. No! Oh. Right, right. She thinks chocolate is too expected. The pressure. Poppy Corn, the famous photographer slash filmmaker slash social media superstar, wants me to bake her a cake, which could be huge. Because when she likes something... Obsessed. But when she doesn't... This should not exist. Do not want. Ah. Uh, Ugh. Maybe I should say I'm too busy? No way! Let's check Poppy's socials. It says here she loves cute details, precision, the color Viridian, and... Woo! Check this out, a contest to win her new book. <gasps> Sign me up! I can help with precision. My Lend a Hand 5000 is just the helping hand you need. Be right back. Just stay focused. Take a deep breath in. Stand up straight. 
Breathe out, Sharky. <laughs> Sorry. I don't usually doubt myself like this. I wish there was a way to know what I should do. Maybe there is. Your future is but a palm reading away. Palm reading? Uh, seriously? Actually, research on palmistry does show you can learn a lot from the lines on your hands if you can read them correctly. Ah, book. And that is not correctly. <laughs> of course it is. Book, see? Not really. And what does book say about my future? And... Huh? <gasps> I want Poppy Corn's book! <laughs> uh, that is quite a coincidence. Hmm. Do me! Do me! Gold. Oh, you got it dead on. I win all the time. I'm the gold medal kid. Huh? <laughs> all right. Say hello to the Linda Hand 5000. Hmm. Boom. Boom. What boom? Definitely boom. Okay, I believe! Bestow your wisdom upon me, great and wise blueberry. Stop. Stop? That's it? Like, stop baking? I don't get it. Because that's not how you read palms. She was right about my lend a hand going Your inventions always explode. I love books. And gold? What does that even mean? What do you think, Blueberry? It doesn't matter what I think. What does Strawberry think? Well, all your readings made sense. So maybe I should stop baking? Is that really what you think? I mean, that doesn't feel like me. I just wanted to nudge in the right direction so I would stop downing myself. Oh, I get it now! Voila! But it's chocolate. So, is palm reading real? I don't know. But Blueberry did help me realize I needed to stop doubting myself and trust my instincts. And as for Poppy... Sorry, it's a must try. <sighs> I knew you'd figure it out. I'm glad things worked out for Strawberry. But that doesn't mean you were right about palm reading. Gold didn't mean anything for Orange. Hey, look out below! <laughs> huh? <sighs> I'm solid gold, baby! Desolate, but with my purple pie storage facility? Huh? Huh? Part of Aunt Praline's job as the mayor's chief of staff is approving proposals for new projects. Even peculiar purple proposals. I'm doing the city a favor, turning that unsightly eyesore into something useful. That eyesore is my lean green garden. The pie man has no right to demolish it. Who's with me? Demolishing a garden? Oh, no, Barry's gonna miss that pile of weeds. I just need the mayor's spunky assistant to give me her approval. I'm the mayor's chief of staff, actually. And I'll need the weekend. I think we're on the same page. <laughs> oh, what an awful man. Stop the pie, man! Oh, no. Hi, 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 hi. <laughs> Hello there, <laughs> strawberry shortcake. Granola crunch. Uh, lead gardener of the lean green garden. Well, only gardener. Till tomorrow, when the pie man rips it up. Unless... Stop the is there something Granola can do to stop the Pie Man from destroying the garden? There is. If Granola can show her garden provides a service to the community, I can stop construction. But she just has the weekend. Up, oh, gotta go, good luck. Hey, Granola, wanna show us this garden of yours? Absolutely. You'll take one look at my garden and run as fast as we can in the other direction. Every berry ready to get this garden into shape? Yeah! Leaves and grass get composted. I'll do it. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Energy efficient. 
mission equipment only. You know what? I've got it. Drought resistant fruits only. Don't worry. I think I see the problem here. Granola, granola, granola. I can see how um, passionate you are about the garden. But if it's gonna be a service to the community, you kinda need to let the community in. But I want everything to be done the right way. Well, everything I know about baking, Sunberry had to show me. You know your stuff. Maybe you can show berries instead of doing it all alone. Berry working together made this place amazing. Oh, I love the smell of tears and demolition in the morning. What is this? This is the all new Lean Green Community Garden. Get off my property! Actually, just got off the phone with the mayor. Seeing the community come together like this, mm, 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 it is clear the garden provides an indispensable service. I'm afraid you'll have to find another spot for your pie warehouse, was it? Pie? Mm, yes. I think we're on the same page, yeah? What was her name again? <laughs> what do I want? A carpet warehouse with my face on it to store frozen pies. When do I want it? No! <laughs> Here you go. Thank you, Strawberry. It's my skydiving instructor's birthday today. Oh, dear! My sitter is sick! How can I hit that drop zone with no one to watch Honeydew Sorbet? Sorry, Grammy Crumb Cake. I know you love skydiving. <laughs> now, Berry sit! I can fill 50 cupcake orders in a day without breaking a sweat. Berry sitting a sweet little berry like honeydew. Total piece of cake. You're sure it's no trouble? Oh, not at all. I would be so happy to. Okay. I so appreciate your help. I'll be back in one hour. You be gone! Yes! Okay, honeydew. What do you want? To... Ah! Yep, that's not good. Hey, strawberry, do you have any? Oh, no. What happened? Honeydew sorbet happened. I'm berry sitting. I've read tons of books on berry sitting. Bringing a berry, happiest berry on the block, this is the perfect opportunity to put different methods to the test. You clearly need my help. Everything we need to know about berry sitting is in these books. Lime, 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 I'll be fine. She's just a little sprout. What could, oh yeah, she's gone. Huh? Oh. Oh. Uh. Yes, rambunctiousness. Speak softly to calm her down. Hi, honeydew. How about we put those... Oh, Mama, ew, the meat. It's not working. Uh, here, bargaining. Offer her something more fun to do. How about we sit quietly and read? No reading! Huh? It's snowing! Don't get mad. Empathize with her. Honeydew, I like to have fun too, but I need that free. What does Mrs. Crumb Cake feed that kid? <laughs> We should support her independence. If we support her too much, she'll destroy the berry works. Come on! Oh, we are the worst fairy sitters ever. 
Nothing can control that berry. Honeydew is who knows where, and it's over! Do 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 do, do do do. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah! Hi, friends. Blueberry, Hawk. How are you doing that? Oh, berry sitting is easy. Yeah, it's all about the flow, and I am so flowing with this one. She's chill. Chill like ice cream. Thank you, Strawberry. Well, she's usually such a handsome. <laughs> Same time next week. Huh? Oh. Gradually add granulated sugar and beat until stiff peaks form. Macarons! Notoriously difficult to make. But just look at these cookie cuties. How hard can they be, huh? <laughs> Hard. Very hard. Yes. But with my lucky spoon by my side, there's nothing I can't bake! I did it? I did it! I mastered macarons! <laughs> Hello, friends. Taste my perfect creations. <gasps> oh. uh. <laughs> Why can't I get this right? Why am I so unlucky? I have a lucky spoon. <gasps> Is my spoon cursed? It's not your spoon that makes you you. That's not an answer. I see. You know how to break the curse? You must ask your spoon. I'm sorry, what now? Come with me. Woo! You must visit your spiritual swirlyverse and talk to your spoon. Uh. Hold the spoon. Close your eyes. Listen to, to my, voice. my voice. Imagine a staircase. Oh. 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 Breathe deeply. Walk down the stairs. At the bottom is a door. Wait, there's no... Oh, never mind, we're good. Open the door and find yourself in your spiritual swirliverse. Wow. This is the best place ever! Find the spoon in the stone. Hey there, Strawberry Shortcake. Uh, hey. Ask you a question. What's wrong? Why can't I make macarons? Are you cursed? Am I a horrible baker? Do I need to go and... Whoa! Slow down. How long does it take to mix cake batter? What? It depends. What kind of cake? What ingredients? Do you want it fluffy or dense? Every cake is different. Exactly. Seriously, that's it? That's all you need. So, how long does it take to mix cake batter? I don't know. It takes as long as it takes. What? That mix cake is a long lot. Welcome back. It takes as long as it takes? It takes as long as it takes. <laughs> so, she did talk to her spoon? Uh. Strawberry, you didn't do it. Is the spoon still cursed? Oh, no, no, no. Turns out I am a lucky berry with a lucky spoon. So I'm a really good baker, but I'm still learning. Some recipes will be easy, some will be hard, but I'll figure them out. Like my spoon said, it's just going to take as long as it takes. Ready? Let's try again. Making the universe sweeter one spoonful at a time. Ugh, have you seen the latest additions to the purple pie men's menu? Nope, let me guess. It's all purple. <gasps> Peculiar ice cream? Purple smoothies? Purple berry shortcake? It's everything we sell but purple. 
What is with the new menu? Is this any way to treat other berries? It's exactly the way to treat other berries. You want to be a world-famous baker? Ditch your friends, steal their ideas, crush their dreams, destroy their businesses. Whatever's left is yours. That's horrible. That's life. You can cry about it or take advantage of it. Your call. Oh, how can the pie man be so successful, but he's so awful? Psh, we can deal with that bozo later. Come check out Lemon's new invention with us. It's a cloaking device, makes you totally invisible. Which is why I need you to help me find it. You know what? Uh, you go ahead. I need to cool down. Ditch your friends. Steal their ideas. Crush their dreams. Must have dozed off. Huh. Something's different. Well, I'm not complaining. It's nice. It totally Magic matches my color scheme. scheme. Exactly. <gasps> Who said that? Huh? What? What happened to every berry's card? Why, you happened, Strawberry. You're an overnight success story. Where are you? Ah, uh, Red. Oh, my guava. Do you have any idea? Hey, shortcake, so sorry. I'm getting to work right now. Okay. Yeah, that was slightly unusual. Welcome to the Strawberry Sweet Cream Cart. How can I... <gasps> it's you. Um, I have a new flavor. Shortcake Swirl. It's better this time, I promise. Blueberry? <laughs> what is up with the hat? Oh no, am I wearing it wrong? Uh... <laughs> Orange! Strawberry smoothies for the shortcake slice smoothie cart! <laughs> is this a joke? We would never do that! Strawberry soda? What? What are you all doing? Whatever you want them to. You're the boss of all of us, Strawberry. <laughs> She did. Uh, well, you did. Ah! Oh, hey, girl. So, what do you think? Uh, what do I think? I think I'm really concerned about that mustache. How could you do all this? What do you mean? This is everything we've ever wanted. But, but not like this. This is the only way. We ditched our friends, stole their ideas, crushed their dreams, destroyed their businesses. Everything left was yours. Well, mine to take. <laughs> Aren't you proud of us? <laughs> no! This isn't the only way. This is not who I am. No! Huh? A dream. A dream! <laughs> Be around here somewhere. It's normal. Your carts are here. You aren't all wearing my hat, and the sun isn't talking. Pink is good for the environment, and I don't have to wax my upper lip. And you! You're wrong. We're better together. So I'm gonna support my friends, believe in their dreams, listen to their ideas, and help build their businesses. And no mustache. Be a better berry. Live in the now. Ugh. <laughs> I literally have no idea what's going on right now. Is it finished yet? <laughs> finished? <laughs> Is it finished? Awesome! The only berry more into Lemon's inventions than Lemon is orange. How about a jetpack? I have an alternative. Hey, Plum. What's up? I traversed here to inform you that the Big Apple City Science Museum is holding an inventing competition in the park today. And I deduced that Lemon might be a perfect candidate. Eh, competitions aren't my thing. But they are my thing, and inventing is your thing. This could be a perfect our thing together. Please, it could be so awesome. Uh... I guess. We're in. I'm as giddy as a gigawatt to see what gizmo you devise. We're gonna win this thing. Yay. I wonder who your competition is. Oh, lime tart and lemon tort. Lime, lime, lemon. Lemon. I'd say.
say, may the best fairy win, but that would give us the advantage. Lemon is the best inventor I know. Ha! You must not know many inventors. <laughs> Come yeah. on, Lemon. Welcome one, welcome all. Each team has been tasked with inventing something to help every baker be their very best. Bakers, yeah. are you ready? <sighs> well, then you may begin. fun competing. Maybe that's not Lemon's thing. Sometimes I forget. Not every berry loves competition quite as much as I do. You're not having fun, are you? Inventing is fun. You pressure me to win? Not so much. I got carried away. I'm sorry. I love winning, but I love having fun with my awesome inventor friend even more. If you want to have fun, I have an idea. I give you the Bingo Medic! Oh, ooh, the Lectomly Fluffy. Next up, Lemon Meringue and Orange Blossom. A jetpack! <laughs> A jetpack? Well, what does that have to do with baking? Your robot serves one cupcake at a time, but with this jetpack, you can share your baked goods with every berry. How very helpful for a culinary connoisseur like me. Woo! On behalf of the Science Museum, I declare Lemon Meringue and Orange 